guys, I hope you are all well. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Ali and I provide you with Honor Active hauls each and every single launch as well as take you through my own fitness journey in case you guys are interested in that as well. But yeah, today I am here to take you through the brand new capsule that is dropping, the Foundations Capsule. So on Tuesday the 16th of April at 5pm UK time, the Foundations Capsule will be dropping. You are going to be getting Easy Layering Loungewear, Mellow Soft Vib tops, neutral effortless gym fits as well as a new tote bag which I know you guys are going to love. So we have quite a bit to go through. I have already tried everything on just now and I've already filmed the clips. I actually find it a lot easier to edit my videos and stuff this way where like I actually film the clips first and then come here and talk you guys through it. So let me know if that's okay. Obviously, if you guys prefer me actually talking you through the pieces as I have them on, I will do that. So we are going to kick off this video, starting with the loungewear. Now, I absolutely love this loungewear. I actually got the jacket on right now. Starting with the foundations jogger. I actually got the black ones on right now and I also have the grey. So one thing about the lounge is the logos are embroidered, stitched on. As you can see on the light green mall, you can't really see can you, you'll see on the clips, um, the embroidery is actually in oil blue. For the black, the embroidery is like in a sort of coal colour. In the plum brown, the embroidery is in mushroom brown. And in the mushroom brown, the embroid em can't speak. embroidery is in the plum brown. And I actually really love that touch because it makes it so easy to mix and match and make them look amazing together. So let's go over these joggers. So... For the foundations jogger, we have this, I forgot what the waistband's called, but it is different to the waistband we usually get at Honor. We have had something similar to this before though, but all in all, the joggers feel more lightweight, shall we say. But that being said, we do have that really comfy, soft, fleecy material inside them. Now, the foundations jogger in black that you can see on the screen right now is in a size small in the lawn length. And the light grey mile joggers you can see is in a size medium in the lawn length. I wanted to order both sizes because I usually switch between a small and a medium and I wanted to show you guys the difference in sizing for those of you who are unsure. So let's give it a little rundown. So I would actually say this time the size medium fits me better. It fits me snugly but not too much room to really flatten my figure. One thing I did notice about the size medium though was the front bar part by the crotch did puff out a little bit. Now as for the size small they fit me practically perfect although that being said, when I do crouch down in those ones, the back does come down as you will be able to see in the clip. The waistband comes down and reveals my underwear and obviously like that's not particularly an ideal. So for the foundations jogger, I highly recommend that you stick true to your usual size. For reference, my usual true size is a medium. The foundations jogger does have these cuffed bottoms and also you have two pockets one with a zip pocket inside. The drawstring is actually inside the jogger so you can't see the strings coming down. As for the logo in guys, I know not everyone's going to love it but I really like it. I actually think it just looks really nice with the honor there. I'm not sure why they've switched to honor instead of the logo. I am going to assume it's because obviously Honor Active is still growing and people can see like where your items are actually from rather than a logo for like brand awareness I guess but I actually really like it I can't lie. We also have the foundations straight leg joggers. I got these in a size small in a regular length. They fit a lot like the straight leg joggers we already have. Of course, the waistband is different though. The material inside, again, is that soft fleecy material. And you do have two pockets, one of them being with a zip. 
Now these actually fit me fine in the small. They don't come down on me as much as they do in the normal joggers. So I got these in the regular length because I found in the long length for the straight leg joggers that we've had previously, they did drag on the floor. So I wanted to try them in the regular and they do fit me a lot better and they will not be dragging on the floor when I got them on. I'm about five foot seven, but obviously it does more depend on your leg length. On all of the joggers, there is also this subtle pan paneling design on the sides. So for the straight leg joggers, generally I would recommend sticking true to your usual size, but size down if you want a more snug fit. I would say this lounge collection overall isn't really as oversized as the loungewear usually is. I don't think it is oversized. I'm not sure, it doesn't say oversized when I'm reading this off the screen and it doesn't really feel as oversized as normal. Now, we're gonna go on to one of my new favorite loungewear pieces. This is the crop sweatshirt. Now, <laughs> I absolutely adore this. The fit is like if you guys have bought from Honor previously from the Birthday collection where they had the crop jackets, that is basically exactly what they fit like, but without obviously the zip and stuff and the hood. But it is so flattering. I sized down to a size small and it fits me perfectly. The waistband is also snug on me. If I was to go to a medium, it would probably be a bit more gaping. Again, you have the embroidered logo in. The neckline is sort of round. There is no logo in on the back. You do have this sort of stitch detail though. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. Again, it's that warm and fuzzy feel inside. One thing I do want to note, guys, when you first get these, the fluff will probably come out on you. You just gotta wash it once first and then you won't get fluff all over your tops. <laughs> Next, we got the pullover hoodie. We have the usual hood design that we usually have from Honor Active on these. So no, 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 <laughs> no jawstrings. Got the embroidered logo in, big kangaroo pocket with a zip inside. There is actually a logo on the back of the hoodie. Right at the top, it says Honor. Again, I am wearing this in a size small and it does fit me perfectly. I could size up to my true size, which is a medium though, which would be more of an oversized fit. Next, we got the zip through hoodie, which is what I am currently wearing. It has a drawstring hood and large front pockets with a hidden zip pocket inside, which does fit your phone in, by the way, guys. All this loungewear, the zip pockets does fit a large phone in there. I just love zip through hoodies because it makes it so easy. Like say if like you've done your hair, you don't have to drag it past your hair and ruin your hair. <laughs> and it's just so easy to put on and off in the gym if it's a bit cold, if it's a bit warm. I just love the zip through hoodies and I really like this one. I am wearing a size small, which is a size down from my true size, but it fits me lovely. I could size up to my true size, which is a medium, which would give me probably a bit more of an oversized fit. I just wanted to come on here and add some updates about the loungewear that I think I forgot to add. So firstly, I do really like this loungewear, guys, but there are things that make me prefer the other loungewear that's already existed more on this jacket. Obviously, it's like a zip-up jacket, which I absolutely love, but the zip does feel cheaper than it usually is, which obviously is definitely a bit of a downside. When zipping it up and down, I did find that the zip got jammed a bit more than before. Like it never, on the other zip ups I have, like it never really gets jammed. On this, it does now and again. Another thing, I do actually like this waistband, but I definitely prefer like the waistband on like the all day cargo joggers and stuff. But all in all, I've got nothing else to complain about. So <laughs> there we are. <laughs> Next, we are moving on to the Effortless collection and we do actually have a new item here. So we are going to start off with the bra. 
Now this is the effortless seamless layered sports bra. Just thing to note it has that lovely stitch logo that we all love. It has the nice contouring lines to really flatter your curves. It is a layered design offering a contemporary look and more modesty. Now I actually think this bra is quite supportive as well. When I put it on like I felt the support, you know what I mean? So guys, I just tested this bra out. I can confirm it did feel very supportive. I felt very safe, very secure and covered, but like I still have that nice little bit of cleavage, you know what I mean? Like it is very flattering. I absolutely love the back of it. Now I got this bra in a size medium in both the black and the plum brown and i will say the bra fits very snugly it was hard to even get it over my head but once it was on i really like to fit and don't think i would size up to a large that being said if you are between sizes i would probably recommend sizing up in this bra just because how hard it was to get on even when it was on for me like it was tight, you know what I mean? Like it was tight, snug, like I could definitely size up. But I do think I would prefer the medium. So we're sticking to the medium guys. So I would recommend this for someone with a bigger bust who would like more coverage, a bit more support. And yeah, something I do wanna quickly note that I forgot is the effortless bra has no adjustables on it. Next, the effortless square neck long sleeve crop top that we had in the birthday collection is making a return. Now, if you missed these in the birthday collection, they are just these really nice tops that you can chuck on over your sports bra. If you have smaller boobs, you could possibly wear this without a sports bra, although I'd probably recommend wearing a bra with it. I personally don't love a square neck design on myself, but I still do think this is flattering. It has the contouring lines that really just, again, accentuates your curves. I just think it's a really pretty piece and I think you guys will love this if you haven't tried it yet. Next, we got the effortless leggings and shorts. So if you are new kit, let me just start by saying there is no legging better than the effortless legging, okay? No, but seriously, the effortless leggings are just so, so flattering. I absolutely adore them. They really accentuate your curves, really make your bum look juicy. So if you haven't tried effortless yet and you're looking to try it on or active, if I recommend that you get any legging, it's going to be the effortless legging. But do bear in mind, if you are not a fan of a scrunch or like bum contouring details, then you probably will not like it. But I personally love those because I love it when my bum looks bigger because, you know, I want a big bum. <laughs> now, I don't know if it's just me, but something I did notice is compared to the last few effortless launches, the material is more stretchy than usual, which is a good thing. I did do a squat test. This is in natural lighting with the window lights like coming through, shining on directly onto me. And I can confirm that they are squat proof. As always, I have nude no VPL underwear on underneath. And this is what I recommend that you wear underneath your effortless leggings too. I wear a size medium and the long length. I recommend sticking true to your usual size, but consider sizing up if you are in between sizes. Right guys, so that is all the effortless, and now we're gonna go on to some everyday bras that we have. So we have the everyday crossover bra. I absolutely love this bra. It's not very supportive, but it's good enough, you know what I mean? Um, you can't adjust the straps, but they are extremely stretchy so you shall be all good with that i wouldn't recommend this bra if you are looking to do like high impact training just because i feel like this is more like a weightlifting girls bra do you know what i mean bando bra guys is making a comeback if you haven't seen the bando bra before it is what it says right it's, it's a bando bra now I'm pretty sure we used to have a logo on the back of these, didn't we? That's been removed. 
and we just have the logo on the front which is a 3d tone on tone logo the same as the crossover bra you do also have removable straps with these i wouldn't recommend wearing the bando bra with no straps if you do have a bigger bust because it will not hold up but that being said if you do put the straps on and tighten them up i think you will be fine and the support will be quite decent you can take the straps on and off through these little hooks on the bra you can also like change around the straps like you can cross them over at the front cross them over at the back to have basically a new sort of look every time you wear the bra now we are going on to the ribbed mellow soft now when i tell you guys like when i first felt these when i got them out of the packaging i was shocked at how good the quality felt i wasn't sure whether i would like these tops because they ha ha are high neck they also have capped sleeves which if you guys watched my last try on haul you know i'm not really a fan of capped sleeves but i must say I do like them on these tops. I think they are flattering. So we have a few different styles in the ribbed launching. We have the mid mock neck t-shirt, which is basically sort of cropped off a little bit. So it has a slightly cropped length. It's not like massively cropped and it does have a curved hem to give it some shape. We have the mid mock neck tank we have the mock neck t-shirt now this is with the capped sleeves and the longer length t-shirts like this do still have that curved hem we have the mock neck tank and the mock neck long sleeve now these are practically exactly like mellow soft just in the ribbed and high neck like i said i thought i would not like these with the high neck but i do i actually do <laughs> the same with the capped sleeves like i just i thought i wasn't going to be a fan but i'm definitely a fan now i feel like these are more for every day and not the gym i haven't yet tried them in the gym but i'm going to tomorrow so let's skip to tomorrow and see how well they hold up in the gym okay guys so that's the cardio complete so i wore the lighter mellow soft ribbed so if there is sweat showing you can see it more and you definitely can as you can see i that's just such a random splodge but they but i got some sweat showing here under my armpits as well and on my back as you can see the sweat marks are very prominent so i probably wouldn't say to wear these to the gym definitely more of an everyday thing but that being said i did do 20 minutes of very sweaty cardio about 10 minutes in i still didn't have no sweat marks they started coming about i would say like 30 minutes into the cardio so i think it can deal with a bit of sweat so if you were weight training perhaps but definitely not cardio the sweat really shows but yeah these ribs tops will go perfectly as a layering piece probably more for everyday sort of wear rather than gym wear as you can see the material is so so stretchy and very durable like i'm pulling that so hard right now i just think it does feel like really high quality and i think you guys will really like this so i do recommend that you try those out finally we are going to move on to some accessories let's get the boring part out of the way first so we're having some socks guys um they're just like these socks that has the honor like i have here on them not my favorite honor active socks i definitely prefer the ones with the logo but i still like them i'll still wear them um next we have the brand new cap so this is practically the exact same as the caps we already have but instead of the honor logo we have the actual honor i don't know if you can see that written down on it i actually wore this for my run and it held up well guys and now why do i always save the best for last guys i don't know but finally we have the honor active tote bag launching i've already been using this like all these pieces i've kept aside specifically to film this today but the bag like i could not help but use it <laughs> now this is the perfect bag for all my work stuff that is what i personally use it for 
If I didn't have to carry a big ass tripod to the gym, I would probably use this as a gym bag. But the large gym bag that Honor has is my go-to gym bag. So this is just a really nice bag. I feel like it's the perfect cabin bag for when you go on holiday too. I feel like I'll definitely take this with me. So you have Honor written on one side and on the back you have the logo. Now these are embroidered as well. On the back you do have this slip pocket to easily put in your phone. It's like the perfect size for your phone. So like imagine, yeah guys, in the summer now I'm walking through the airport and I'm like, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute guys. Hello, yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> Back in. Yeah guys, let's go catch up flight. You do actually have two bottle pockets. You have one here and you have one on this side and the one on this side has like one of those draw things that you can pull to make it tighter. This side does not have that. You have the mini handles and you have the shoulder handles you have a nice big open space in the bag and this absolutely fits my laptop in perfectly still leaving me with plenty of room so you have this like big sort of side pocket that has no zips then on the other side you have a sort of average side pocket average size pocket with a zip and then you have like a slip pocket in there as well but yeah guys i really 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 like this bag a lot more than i thought i would and this is definitely like coming on holidays with me you know like i've been carrying like all like my laptop my work stuff in there it's just like my dedicated work bag now <laughs> but yeah guys we have gone through absolutely everything so i hope you guys have found this helpful i am going to pop some color comparisons on the screen right now so you can compare now i will say plum brown is probably the most similar to 70 percent cocoa and if you can't really afford to have both colors i wouldn't say there's much point in picking up a plum brown although that being said they are different so if you would like plum brown it's personally my favorite brown out of all the colors then i would recommend picking it up but yeah the plum brown is definitely my new favorite honor active brown now quickly before you guys go I do just want to say I am an Honor Active teammate and I do have a support link that you can shop directly through to support me and my relationship with the brand. Now this allows me to continue posting these in-depth and honest reviews. As you guys can probably imagine like making these YouTube videos are extremely time consuming like planning them, filming them, editing them. It does take up a lot of time and your support basically allows me to continue doing that and continue giving you guys these honest in-depth reviews every single launch. I don't think I've actually missed a launch for ages. I don't. I think I've actually done every single on a launch you can think of. I just want to say a big thank you if you do decide to support me by shopping through my link or by simply liking or subscribing. It does truly go such a long way and just know that it is majorly appreciated. Now, I do just want to quickly mention this is in no way a bribery, but if you do decide to support me for this launch, you can email your confirmation to this email shown on the screen for a chance to win something at the end of the month. Like I said, this is absolutely not bribery, guys. I'm not trying to bribe you to use my link, <laughs> but it's just a way of showing my thanks to give back to you guys because I truly do appreciate every single one of you who decide to support me. It's going to be it for this haul and I know that I will see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye guys.